There are eight Corvette generations to choose from when it comes to picking a favorite, but mine, mine's special because it's the perfect and correct answer. It's the C6 Corvette. It's the perfect size, the perfect shape. It drives wonderfully. It's got a beautiful 6.2 liter LS V8, depending on which one you get. You can also get a 6.2 liter supercharged LSA V8. 650 whatever the horsepower, a whole bunch of torque, plastic body panels. And you know what? Looks that just scream, I miss 2008. Who among us doesn't? Remember Barack Obama? Cool guy. All the Corvettes before the C6 were slow, really old, or really cheap. C4 Corvettes, you know what? I'll be honest, C4, C5, they probably look a little nice in the C6 if you ask me, but they are built out of Playmobil parts and melted down Legos. They feel like absolute dog shit inside. And you know what? That takes a lot because the first Corvette I ever spent any time in, one, honestly, one of the first cars that got me into cars was my uncle's C5 Corvette, a 98 C5 convertible. And even when I was a little kid, I remember thinking, this feels like garbage. So, that's when the C6 comes in. Perfect. Then we're going to C7. It looks like a Transformer. Now that's pretty f cool. Transformers, those movies, they're awesome. I don't know if I want to be driving around in one all the time. And then C8, you know, you lose the plot a little bit. I'm not a Corvette purist, you know? I think a Corvette can be whatever GM says it is because they own it, it's their car. But to me, it should be front engine, should have manual transmission. Call me an old head, call me whatever, doesn't matter. This is why the C6 is the sweet spot. And just look at it. It's so clean and nice. And it's the right size. 